We're here today with John McLean, Director of Operations at PowerStream. We're getting a behind-the-scenes look at the systems control room. In the design and construction of this room, we had a, a real opportunity to incorporate the latest in technology, ergonomic uh, designs, and some other features in here. Uh, the power supply of this room is somewhat separate from the rest of the building. Uh, it comes straight from the standby generator. If the power went out and the standby, standby generator failed to operate, we could function out of this room for up to three days, uh, strictly on the, uh, the UPS, which is an uninterruptible power supply. These workstations themselves um, are what's known as <coughs> dual sit-stand. So both the front deck and the back deck are totally configurable from a fully sit-down position to a stand-up position. And what we find is that in normal operating mode, uh, everybody tends to sit, but when we have a lot of activity going on, such as in outages or wide-scale outages, um, they, they tend to stand. So in fact, they can bring the work surface up to them, up to that level, and they don't have to bend over and reach down for the phone or the keyboard. So where we are standing here right now is what we call the uh, West Sector, which uh, both Tom and Franz here um, control the distribution network and facilities in Vaughan and Richmond Hill. Uh, some of the tasks that they routinely take on every day is what we call switching orders. And what that allows us to do is to safely and effectively remove elements of our distribution network out of service so that we can perform maintenance or new construction or repair damaged equipment. And it's a very detailed process where one person prepares a switching order, another checks it, okay. and typically a third person would dispatch that to field crews. Okay, so this feature here is known as electronic visual display wall. And it's approximately nine feet high by 31 feet wide. Think of it as a large computer screen, and you can put applications on there just like Windows. Uh, what we have displayed here is an overview of our service area of the York Region communities in the south, Markham, Richmond, Hill, Vaughan, and Aurora, as we move northward through uh, central Ontario, including Bradford, Alliston, Beaton, Tottenham, Thornton, City of Barrie, and all the way up uh, to Penetanguishene. This gives you an overview, a very high-level overview, of our distribution network in York Region. Uh, so if you can envision Markham here, Richmond Hill in the middle, Vaughan on that side, and Aurora to the north. Um, so this screen is totally manipulable, so he can zoom in, pan out, uh, or pan around, and uh, get right into the detailed equipment. A lot of this equipment that we see on this screen, um, matter of fact, up to about 400 devices, uh, are controlled and managed right from this room. This electronic visual display wall is utilized by every workstation in the room, and each workstation has the ability to take control of the, cur the cursor and manipulate the view. But critical of this, right down the center, is we have both an events log and an alarm log. So on a system of our size, events are occurring all the time, alarms are occurring all the time. Um, right now, we're in a bit of a heat wave, so you'll see on these particular feeders, and a feeder really is what's downstream of a breaker, that they're running fairly high amperage there. Now it says critical, but that's to alarm the system controller that it's reached a threshold and keep an eye on it. And so um, he can react, he can offload if it gets much higher, and he can transfer that load elsewhere. So what we have here is known as an outage management system, and it takes inputs from uh, customer calls, uh, but most importantly from our smart meters. And what we've got shown here is an um, overlay of our circuits uh, on top of a streetscape. And in fact, what we can do is jump in uh, and look you know, to, to a particular home and see which side of the house the meter's on. Uh, we may receive a call that, that a meter's damaged, so we can tell our field crews to go to a particular location and say that the meter or the piece of equipment is on the left side, the right side. And he's, so he's well forearmed with uh, a lot of information. Okay, if you recall the uh, tornado of last summer in August, um, it actually impacted our service area in Vaughan in about three different locations. This location here is the most significant in that there was quite a few homes there. In fact, uh, the evening of that tornado, we disconnected about 85 homes due to safety concerns. But the path of that tornado uh, went in a northeasterly fashion, touched down in this area too, up um, on Islington. And then it didn't touch down again till up here on Teston Side Road between Jane and Keel. At that point, it took down six poles and effectively took out power to that community up there for about 12 hours while we had to rebuild the pole line. In the last two years, we've hired 11 new staff in this room. And uh, 
Typically we plan and hire for succession planning, which takes into account retirement, but you also lose people due to illness, um, taking a position in another department, or actually moving to another utility. Typically the type of person that we hire is a two or three year college graduate in the electrical engineering discipline. They get, then go into an in-house internal three to four year training program uh, which then at some point once they complete all the exams and training competencies will be declared competent and qualified to perform in a production role. PowerStream's three million dollar system control room opened in April 2008 and serves 325,000 York Region and Central Ontario customers. For York Region Media Group, I'm Adam Martin-Robbins.